Hi guys, sorry I've been gone so long, but today I wanted to do an updated foundation routine. Um, but I'm going to do it a little different. I'm not going to put primer on. I'm going to see how well this foundation stays on without primer. So, I will cover it spots that I don't like with concealer, but other than that, there's nothing going to be holding the makeup on or letting it stay matte, so, here we go guys. I know you're probably thinking that's hilarious that she's actually using the cap to her foundation, but it gives me a little extra control. And I know this is like a cheapy foundation, but I've seen my body likes it, or my skin seems to like it, I should say. Yes, guys, I know there's a little redness, but, on my cheeks, but, um, I'm going to see how well the foundation covers it up. Because I know some of you can't afford all the luxuries of primer and... Stuff like that, but heck, when I first started out doing these videos, I couldn't afford much either. I'm going to take my Elf Kabuki I use it for powder and foundation so here we go and I know it's not totally blended in everywhere else but I'm going to come back through and put foundation where it's needed I know this was kind of scattered, but believe me, I look done when I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yes, I'm wearing paper towel to keep the foundation off my neck of my shirt. My skin must be extra dry today because it's not wanting to blend. Tell me if you guys have that issue. I know mine's from all my medications that I'm on. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I will come back and show you the result after, I get, after it's been on for a while. Because I really don't have anything underneath it. No lotion, no uh, primer, nothing. So we're going to see if it lasts all, all day or I look like a... Um, Grease ball when I come and check in with you guys next time. Because normally I get shiny through my T zone and the, under my chin, and I just about dropped the foundation. Sorry about that startle, guys. So I'm just going to blend this out. I was going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender today, or my Beauty Blender knockoff. But my Beauty Blender knockoff has a hole in it, so it makes things a little more difficult. Sorry about that, guys. My left hand wanted to join the party there. But, um. I am going to blend this all out for you guys so you can see what it actually looks like. I am going to do a full face of makeup, which you guys have seen before, but without primer. So, um, if you'd like to see my full face done on camera, let me know in the comments below. Because I will do that video for you shortly if I get enough response from doing this video. I know, like I said before, you probably think I'm crazy, but the special thing actually works for me. So, um, it just applies the foundation and I blend it out with the, uh, Kabuki brush. 
I guess that I would blend that with my knockoff, but it's got a hole in it. Hey, I guys, I know I missed a couple spots, so I will come back and show you my full look when I'm done, and I'll, I'll check in with you guys periodically through the day. Hey, guys and gals, um, well, this is the finished finished look so you can actually see how well or how poor the um, foundation works so I will check up with you in a couple hours because I'm going to do a no I'm doing a day of no touch ups no blotting papers no anything so I will see you guys back here in a few hours. Bye. Have a great day. Hi everyone. Um, I'm back. So, it is now quarter to four or a little later. And I don't see any shininess. But I do see where the um, primer would fill in fine lines and wrinkles or large pores. But I do need to touch up my lipstick. That's about it. But I haven't, beca I haven't become a shiny shiny mess yet so hopefully it sticks out for the next couple hours again I'll check back in with you in a few hi again everybody um it was like 4.30, 4.45 last time I checked in, and now it's almost 8 o'clock. So, that's four hours. Um, I'm seeing a little bit shiny on the cheeks, and a little bit shiny on the forehead. Um, for my personal preference, I, um, really recommend a primer that controls shine um and from now on I'm probably going to use the primer that I have to put underneath this foundation because I see where it also settles into my lines right here at the edge of my nose and um I don't like it very much, but hopefully this helps you ladies that are on a budget, or I like to say beauty on a budget, because this foundation was only $3, and it was out Myers. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.